Hey dudes, back in the kitchen here, and we're gonna be making pizza. Wait a second, isn't pizza bad for you? Well, not this pizza. Usually pizza's bad for you because of the amount of carbohydrates in it and also the fats from the cheese. But with this pizza we're about to make, the crust is made out of cauliflower. How the hell is that, you ask? Well, we're here to show you. So stay tuned and get ready to have cauliflower crust pizza. By a head of cauliflower here, it's gonna start out like this, and it's gonna end up like this. And here's how it's done. So you just take a knife, and you're just grazing the top here, getting all the important parts, the heads, the florets of the cauliflower. Once that's done, you're gonna either put it in a food processor, or use a blender, like I'm doing. So as you can see, the cauliflower is chopped up, it's in the blender and ready to go. We're just gonna put it on here. We're gonna slightly tap it, so that way it mixes it up. So we're blending it up. A food processor works a little bit better. This is gonna go a little slower. It's gonna stick every once in a while, but it does get the job done. So as long as you're patient, you'll be good. So the cauliflower is all blended up. As you can see, it's about the texture of grain or rice, which is perfect, because it's gonna be a substitution for pretty much flour. Two cups. Bullseye. So we're gonna add this into the mixing bowl, just like so. We're gonna add two eggs. Egg number two. Now we're gonna add a little bit of cheese. This is gonna help with binding everything together. And we're gonna do about a half a cup here, because you can always add more cheese on top after it's baked. You can add a little bit of parsley. There we go, right in there, good. Next, it's gonna be a little bit of oregano. All those classic pizza spices, that's what you want. So you're just gonna grab a fork, you're gonna start mixing it together, and all the ingredients. Pretty much want to get the consistency of pizza dough, so it might take a little bit. Patience is a virtue. So what you're gonna do, now that it's all mixed into the bowl, is bring it over to the stove. You're going to spray a little cooking spray onto the pan. You're gonna slowly put the ingredients onto the pizza sheet. Now it's not going to look like pizza dough, or it does not have the same consistency of it. But don't worry, this step in the process is to make the dough, just the dough. So what we're gonna do is put the stove on 450 degrees. You're gonna lay it out nice and smooth, and pretty much form it just like a pizza in a pizza crust in a good, about a thin consistency too. You're gonna put it in about 15 to 20 minutes until it's cooked all the way through. And that's gonna complete the crust. So as you can see, it's spread on the pan and ready to go, but the oven is still preheating to 450 degrees. So in about five or 10 minutes, it's gonna be preheated. I'm gonna slip it in there and then we're gonna wait 15 to 20 minutes, pull it out, ready to put the toppings on and you're gonna be one fulfilled buff dude once you have this pizza, because damn, it's good. It's preheated to 450 degrees. We're ready to put this right in the oven here. Just like so. We're gonna wait about 15 to 20 minutes until it's completely cooked, and it's time to add the toppings after that. So it's been about 15 to 20 minutes. I think it's done. We're gonna check it out. Open it up. Ah, oh, a beautiful golden brown look. Oh, it's definitely done. We're gonna pull that out. We're gonna keep the oven on because we're eventually gonna put it right back in once we put the topping on. So we're gonna leave this, and now on to put the topping. Yes. So what I did is I barbecued a bunch of chicken, a whole bag of chicken actually, but you can either make it on the skillet or bake it. It depends on what your preference is. For me, I just love barbecuing and I love the taste of it. It's really easy, simple, and it's ready to go. We're gonna shred this chicken up into a bowl here so that way we can add it onto the pizza crust. So the first topping I'm gonna put on the crust is the most classic pizza sauce. Can't go wrong with that. We're just gonna pour it right on here, just like so. Good. Now we're gonna spread it out nice and even, just like so. There we go. Next step, we're gonna just do a light layer of cheese. Just gonna lightly sprinkle it right here. Now, if you want to lower fat, obviously you just minus the cheese, pretty simple. 
So now that we got the cheese on, we're just gonna come over here with the shredded chicken. I'm gonna lightly put that on top here. Obviously we want a lot of protein, nice lean protein in this case. We're just gonna spread it on just like so. What do you think buff dudes? I think that's pretty good. So now next we're gonna put a little bit of spinach on top here to kind of top it off. One thing you gotta remember is you can add any ingredient you want, either it being, you know, black olives, it could be some onions, it could be garlic, it could be anyways, the list goes on. So you know you know what I'm talking about. But this one, we're keeping it simple. We're just doing some chicken, some spinach, cheese, and pizza sauce here. So it's gonna go back in the oven for about five to 10 minutes or until the cheese is melted and it's back and warm and ready to go. So we're just laying it right in there. Five to 10 minutes, we're definitely gonna keep an eye on it because you don't want it to burn, seeing as how the crust is pretty much already cooked. So, be back in a sec. Now, I haven't left my post because I've been keeping a close eye on this pizza, not only because I wanna eat it, but because I don't want it to burn either. So, it's only been about two to three minutes and I think it's already done. So, we're gonna open this up, just like so. I'm gonna pull that pizza out, cheese is melted. Pizza is golden brown. We're gonna shut the oven off. Oh my God, that's this. That's amazing. We're gonna cut this up and we're gonna enjoy. Low carb pizza, done by the Buff Dudes. This pizza is not only healthy for you and the low carb, it's also gonna make you take a one step closer to being a super buff dude.